Hey, you're at Steve Tech. I'm Steve. Today I wanted to continue the uh, valve train series that we're doing. And so our next one is going to be, um, I think we got to do lifters. And then we'll get right to the camshaft, which is, like I said before, is really tricky. And there's a lot involved in that. And not not as much as what you think involved, but more than what you think is involved, etc., etc. So anyways, what I wanted to cover today is... Uh, retain valve retainer keeper lash cap uh, valve tip design etc so what we'll start out with here is your typical and there's a lot of little small camera work that you'll have to see here um, that we'll try to show you but this is just your typical this is LS LS valve so this is just your typical small seven degree keeper and retainer now we're not really as far as the retainers go i mean your retainer just needs to match what style spring you have so we're not going to be talking about that because that's just whatever your spring requires but we're going to talk about uh the keeper style the retainer style and then lash cap and valve tips okay so your standard steel valve all steel valves have a hardened tip already on them every steel valve has a hardened tip Okay, so if you're gonna run uh, your standard little seven degree, which is these really small little keepers, uh, seven degree stock style keeper, uh, really you're only gonna see those in LS stuff anymore. This is a dual spring retainer. Um, this is normal, good hydraulic uh, roller spring stuff, no problem, steel valve, hardened tip, everything works real good. So that's just kind of your standard deal. Remember that seven degree keeper. Uh, standard deal okay so that's real nice easy uh, no big deal you can see how this stuff all kind of fits on the valve stem like that all right so the next thing we would do is we would then go to uh, your 10 degree keeper and then possibly a lash cap all right now this is a, a 10 degree style keeper you notice how much bigger the keeper is okay this is a used one but you can see how much bigger that keeper is all right now that 10 degree so the reason they do that is that it puts a bigger wedge you know to try pulling through the retainer so you like your seven degree retainers like this and then your 10 degree uh, retainer keepers are like this so it gives it all this extra area to try to push and pull through all right now as far as the lash cap now let's still talk with steel valve the steel valve uh, the tips are are hardened, but they're they're induction hardened. They're not actually have a hardened tip pressed into them. We'll explain that in just a second. So they're hard. You can put a lash cap on there, and what that does is uh, gives you more area for the rocker arm to ride on. Okay, that area right there is bigger for the rocker arm than that area. Now you do have to have this special keeper, a lash cap lash cap style keeper that has that recess you can see the recess there and then the lash cap fits all into it but the lash cap can come off and you know pop off like that okay so that would just give you more area for your rocker arm to travel on even though if you set your valve train up appropriately and we'll go over that if you set your valve train up appropriately with your rocker arm and the tip uh, dimensions uh, you really shouldn't need this big surface area, but uh, if you have really big stuff like one inch lift camshafts, you're gonna end up having a, more because the rocker arm tip sweeps quite a bit. But that, that'll be in a separate issue. So we've been talking about the steel valve. The steel valve has an induction hardened, it's all one piece. Now if you go to a titanium valve, we can show you on this, if you go to a titanium valve, titanium valves will come one of two ways. They will either have a uh, wafer, as you can see right there, you can see a real light little line right there. This has a hardened tip that's actually machined and pressed into the end of the valve. Now, what that means is uh, that hardened tip is, a, is not the same material as the titanium, um, and it's pressed in with a a little pin pretty much all right now if you put a lash cap on a hardened tip on a hardened wafer tip titanium valve 
is no bueno. Alright? Because what happens is these uh, rocker arm, or I'm sorry, these lash caps end up rocking. Very minutely. I mean, just, I mean, this is over exaggerated, but they rock. Well, what do you think is going to happen when you rock on something that's pressed into the end of there? Pop! It pops the hardened tip off. You cannot run lash caps on a hardened wafer tip valve. It will break off, usually within minutes uh, or passes. Uh, it will break that hardened tip right off of your valve stem. Then you got a whole bunch of stuff floating around in there, which is absolutely no good. All right. Now, uh, so that's on the on the lash cap side and the hardened tip side. Now the going back to like grooves, your typical Chevrolet stuff, Ford stuff, Chrysler stuff, all old school engine build stuff would all have a square groove uh, retainer keeper. Okay. The square groove is quite literally that. It's just cut square and square in the keeper. Um, but these, all LSs and all really good race stuff is all gonna be a radial groove. Okay, so if you look here, you can see that that is radial. It's actually rounded in there, okay? Versus a smaller, thinner square. So, what does that do? It does two things. Sharp edges make cracks. Sharp edges make things that can shear and pull right off. Radius or rounded parts, um, it is very hard, if not impossible, to actually um, shear or pull off something that's round. So uh, like a square keyway in a crankshaft, you can shear it right off. If you put a round keyway in a crankshaft, it actually can't shear. It'll try rolling over the top of it, but it won't shear it. It's a weird deal. Okay, so radial groove is always the best, but you need to have matched up stuff. Now, we'll go to what we do on all my SMX stuff, like what's right here. So this is SMX valve train. Uh, you can't really see the, the retainer keeper in through here. So I mean, this is that small spring, like we talked about the small springs before. And this has what we call a sewer lid style lash cap keeper all right now i'll show you that so this is what is the ultimate let me put this back together so i don't lose all this stuff these are for individual jobs so i want to make sure that i keep this stuff all all together so this actually goes to that job um so oh i'm sorry <laughs> back up just one little bit another style of keeper is called a capture lock so this is a really nice setup if you have a hardened tip in your valve stem so this is a titanium valve okay this particular valve is not a hardened tip because it's out of one of my SMX's so I'm just giving you the illustration if this was a hardened tip remember it have like a hundred thousandths tip and it's pressed into the end of it all right this lash cap is called a capture lock and what this capture lock does is it has this extension right here has that extension which comes up and actually grabs your tip and makes a nice little flat actually the, the tip will be just slightly above the keeper of course but makes this nice captured grabs it makes it all nice and tight and keeps that tip from breaking off. Because in the normal application, if you have that lash cap, or even if you don't have the lash cap, you have a whole bunch of material that's just exposed, that tip is exposed, and the hardened tips will tend to break off. So if you have a hardened tip, titanium valve, you're gonna want to use a capture lock. Let me put that over there. You're gonna wanna use a capture lock keeper. I got these things, you need them, just give me a call, I'll set you up with the right stuff. So, uh, hardened wafer tip in a titanium valve, you need capture lock keeper, you'd want to do these in a radial groove is the best, so this is a really good strong setup. Okay.